to Reset Track Creation for e where we explore, experiment, execute effectively. Today I want to show you how to create a shared mailbox in Outlook Online. But first, let's review some key details about the functionality. A shared mailbox allows multiple users to manage an email account. Think about an email address reserved just for general information or the help desk team. Another example is um, if an email is designated for the general public to book an appointment through meeting at domain.com. Now all messages will go to the mail account and the entire team can access it. As a best practice, you can have a maximum of 25 internal employees accessing the shared mailbox. External users are prohibited. All system folders like inbox, sent, archive, and um, etc. they're all included with a shared mailbox. You guessed it, you can receive and send messages from this account. Now, why is this important? An alias account only receives uh, messages. So again, that's why we wanted to make sure that you know that you can um, receive incoming and outgoing messages. Another tip, you can convert a user mailbox to a shared mailbox. Um, if, our, um, if an intern was working on a project and leaves the company, you can convert this mailbox to a shared mailbox. You have to work with your system administrator to complete this task. You don't have to purchase a separate license for a shared um, email address as long as you don't exceed 50 gigabytes of data in that shared mailbox. To increase it to 100 gigs of storage, you must buy an Exchange Online plan. A shared mailbox is not assigned to one person as the owner. As a result, a username and password are not given. Because of this, you can't directly sign into a shared mailbox. If you are granted permissions, you can um, just add it to your Outlook folder. Also, you can't send encrypt messages. Um, security ID keys are given to a person. Okay, several steps that you need to complete. One, you must have administrator access to go to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Next, you're gonna just go through the breadcrumbs, which is Teams and um, Groups, then Shared Mailboxes, and then you will come to the form that you see on the screen and you're just filling out the name of the mailbox that how you want it to appear, as well as the actual email um, address. And normally, they're usually the same. Now, on this screen, I wanted to make sure I took a screenshot of this screen. So you may want to snap this one. So there's some features. Once the mailbox is created, there's some features that you can assign to this mailbox. Um, one of them I want you to be aware of is you still have up to 300 alias emails account that you can create for this particular mailbox. Now, if you're not familiar with um, alias accounts, I did a blog post and video um, series about that topic. Go to Track Creation 4E, The Vault, and um, I believe it's in the December archives. You can also forward and um, had, set auto replies um, on a mailbox. Um, sent items. Now, this is something you may want to think about because you, since you only have 50 gigabytes associated with this shared mailbox, you may want to consider if you want to keep a copy of sent emails. In some cases, you want to do that. And if you do, make sure you clean them out regularly. You can add um, members, add and remove members. Once again, only up to 25 internal users and you can sign different people the right to permission access so you can give one person full control where they can go in and manage these type of settings and then you can give the others where they have sin as or sin on behalf of so you can set the right permissions for the right person 
Now, the last step that you will have to do once a shared mailbox is created is now add it to your folders in your left navigation in Outlook. So it's really easy. I'll show you how to do all of that, but you're gonna right click on the folder and then you're gonna just select add share folder. So let's go into the end um, and complete this demo. Okay, so I have navigated to the Microsoft Admin Center and I wanna show you this new feature, search feature in Microsoft. So if I search, shared mailbox because I don't always remember where the feature is stored. Check this out. It lets me know. It gives me a couple options. You know, do you want to go to navigation? Notice it shows me the breadcrumbs for um, um, that location. Or do I want to go directly to the action and add a shared uh, mailbox? Once again, check that out. It shows me the breadcrumbs. So um, let me just go through the breadcrumbs. Here's teams and groups. Here's shared mailbox, and I can add a shared mailbox. So I'm going to give it a name, and I've done this a couple times, but let's go ahead and just say test again. It's going to be the name. We're going to create this and, and save changes. Um, it does say it takes a couple minutes, but depending on how large your company is, it may take several hours or maybe even a full day for it to process through all um, your company's um, um, back end information. So just be patient if it does not show up immediately. But we're going to add members. So we're going to add Adele. We could add Grady to have access and press add hit the test again once we double click on that it's going to actually take us into that share mailbox and uh, the profile and we can delete if we would like to the whole entire shared uh, mailbox so if you do this just know that everything is gone all the content and everything so do this with care and i would actually say work with your um, system administrator um, when doing so but down at the bottom, I wanted to mention, because I believe I forgot, um, show in global address list. Um, this is great. It gives you an option to make a decision if you want this to appear so everybody can have access to it or not within your company. That's great. And notice that let's say we wanted it to look and see who is send as permission. Let's say we do not want Grady to have that type of access. We can remove him from there. Just that easy. We go back and look again. And let's say we want to make sure Grady has sinned on behalf instead, and we can do that. So we can make those changes and give people the type of right access to a mailbox um, as we like. So, um, once again, just pay attention to what's up in here. If you ever need to come back to this area and make some changes, you have the ability to do so. And the next step is for us to go to the mailbox and add that share folder to the left navigation. Now, make sure you have to type out the whole entire email address because I always get tripped up and miss this step. And I always think, well, it's not there, but you have to make sure you type it all out to make sure that it comes. And there it is. So check it out. I have all the system folders and I can create any custom folders that I like. If you would like to see more videos like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Have a good day.